Hello friends, welcome back to Living with Cambria and welcome if you are new. So today we are tackling the family room. I was going between the family room and the office for this video. However, I have to say when I showed up on this day, I was just kind of in a funk. And I think we all get to those situations. So the office was definitely a much bigger project as you can see. And I will be tackling that next week. Now I'm sharing this with you because I feel like we all get into these moods and we feel get down on ourselves about it. But hey, it is completely normal and we can all just work through it. On days like today, just take something that you might get more instant gratification, a smaller project that will really, really motivate you to do something bigger in the future. But if you guys are in the need for some extreme cleaning, decluttering, and organization, make sure to stay tuned. I'm a traveling spirit, I've seen many shores From the West Pacific to the island of Kenya They treat me like a son anywhere I go And even though no one can tell, I still feel that I'm So one of the big questions, actually, I probably get this more often than any other question is where the stuff goes that I take out of these rooms. Uh, everything I take out of this room, we go through piece by piece and decide what we want to bring back in and what we need to find new homes for. Everything does get put away, though. The only times it may just be set in a room is if it's a room that I haven't tackled yet. So like the office, the office we're not going to find really a room for it. So we just put it in there knowing that that's where it's going to stay. But once I go in there, that's when I will figure out exactly where it's going to go. But yes, everything has gone through. A lot of things are donated. A lot of things are trashed if they're just not in good shape anymore. And then other things we find a home for them. I know how to handle it all on my own. So my goal in tackling this room was really just to make it fresh and airy. They had a huge entertainment system in here, but her amazing daughter actually got her a new TV and they had that installed just this past week. So they got rid of the huge entertainment system and she's going to be ordering a new TV stand. She actually jumped on Wayfair. No, not sponsored, but she jumped on Wayfair and ordered something, but it was still open, fresh, light, airy. So that was kind of the goal I was going with this room. There's a lot of things just left out that I wanted to find homes for that it wasn't have to be stared at on a regular basis. A lot of times eye clutter can be the worst type of clutter. In this case, she had a ton of memorabilia. There's no reason to get rid of this stuff. Photos and things like that. I love this stuff, but we can find better homes than just out in the open for everyone to see. Call me out, tiger. Call me out, why don't you laugh? Lift me up higher. Above the clouds, won't you laugh? When the scenery is right, go right in. I want to fall. 
So I am considering branching out from this hoarder series and doing a lot more of just helping even everyday people. I want to know what you guys think about that. It's still going to be extreme, but it may not always be a hoarder situation. Um, I know I often already get questions on if these people are hoarders, but there are stages of hoarders. If you look into it, there's about five stages of hoarders, um, anywhere from a very mild case to extreme infestation and just what you see on TV, the TV show type hoarders. And I usually work with the t one, two, and three stages. I have never worked with a four or a five. However, I'm thinking about getting into helping people that are just in the need of some organization ideas and just getting overwhelmed that aren't in the stages of hoarding at all but just need a helping hand. Let me know if you guys would be interested in that. And should I keep it under the title hoarders for you guys? Or should I change it up and branch out and name it something else when I'm doing families like that? Let me know in the comments below. Your input on everything I do really, really helps me out here. Call me out. So if you're curious about where I'm putting everything, right on the other side of this wall is actually the kitchen. So I have everything going onto the kitchen table. That way she can go through everything as I'm doing the other stuff. Um, like I said, some families want to be shown on camera, some don't. So I do try and respect their wishes when it comes to that so i am taking stuff out and putting it in the kitchen for her to go through and then i will only be bringing back what needs to come back in this room there's also a lot of things that needed to get washed and cleaned so we we're running loads of laundry and things like that Never felt tomorrow closing in this fast. Oh, I guess time's in a rush. Leaves are falling down, but at least they grow back. While I'm on a one way track. So, if it's your first time here, I like to work in sections. So, as you can see, I am doing little areas at a time rather than one project at a time. I do one section at a time. I feel like that actually keeps you motivated to keep going forward because you see the progress being made. So I am moving the furniture and doing all of that. This is not a deep, deep clean. This is more of a getting this house back in order. I highly recommend if you haven't to check out the two videos before this of when I did her guest bedroom and master bedroom and you can kind of see the story behind getting this whole house back in order it's a big project and a lot of you also ask how long it normally takes so I do one room a day because I still have my normal I'm a stay-at-home mom so I still have to take care of the kids make dinner all of that and I only come out once a week. So I've also had people ask how I do this with kids. I only come out once a week. It's on a, one of the days that my husband has off. So he takes care of the kids that day. And I have a certain amount of time. Like I am not here till from dusk till dawn. I usually give myself from 10 a.m. till 
between four and six, depending on how long something takes me. That'll also depend on how much I can get done because if I'm running out of time, I cut myself off and I still feel like the homeowners can pick up the areas that I just didn't have time to do. And it gives me time to go home, spend time with my family and make dinner. One other thing that's a little bit different about this video is I was moving some of the furniture around because I knew she was ordering the new TV stand and I wanted to just have this be, like I said, more open, more airy. So I don't normally do that. Normally I leave the furniture where it is. Um, I'm not a redecorating video. Um, I love decorating. Don't get me wrong. And that would be amazing but I focus mainly on cleaning however in this room there was some furniture moving around that I knew would make the room just feel so much more open and it was minor stuff so you're gonna see a lot more of that in here as well of me moving stuff around and then bringing in baskets from other places in the house to help with storage you saw there was a ton of blankets in the corner behind the sofa and the issue with that is they half of them they weren't using and they were just getting dirty from pet hair and dander so i end up bringing in a basket to help them with still being able to keep the blankets in there because hey i love a good cuddly blanket myself but it's just in a much better way and a better use of where you're putting things. So this cube storage, she was actually planning on putting it into her bedroom just for a little bit of extra storage. I ended up recommending putting it, um, leaving it in this room, but not out in the open. I actually moved it around a couple times. You'll see that. It's kind of how things work sometimes. Sometimes you have to move stuff around to figure out what's going to work best in a space um at first when i was doing this i didn't know she was ordering the tv stand right away so i put it in one area and then she told me she was ordering that so i put it in another area don't be afraid to play with things though you move stuff around you figure it out and that's okay even that little table over there i moved it around a couple times to figure out where it looked best in this room to keep it really um bright and open and fresh and 
that's the I feel like the most important thing is something looks bright, open, fresh, clean, pretty, you're more apt to keep it that way. So play around, have fun with it, and don't let it overwhelm you. Don't let something like this stress you out. Have fun with it. Just a lesson that I've learned And so it goes Tables turn You're on your own When I think about the way So a couple of you guys were asking about this vacuum. So this is the Shark Duo. I actually have this exact same vacuum. I don't bring my vacuum from one house to the other, mainly because with traditional vacuums, all the dirt and everything is in those filters and in those canisters. So even if you empty the canister, the filter still has it. So like in this case, she has a cat. My husband's allergic to cats. I would hate to bring my vacuum home and then bring the cat dander and hair back to my house when I left. So I always use what the homeowner has. I just think it's a healthier practice to do that. So if you guys are in the market for a vacuum, this one is a great one. I highly recommend it. I will also be talking about a new vacuum that I got on Wednesday's video. You guys don't want to miss this. It's not a sponsored video. However, I reached out to this company to go over their vacuum. If you guys know about the rainbow vacuum, you are going to love this new one. It's basically the same technology for far, far less. The rainbow vacuums are amazing, but they're about three grand. And I don't know about you, but I don't have three grand to drop on a vacuum. But this one, you guys are going to love it. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. will sing about your heart maybe the trees will whisper the word maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope so one thing I highly recommend, and I have said this in previous videos, that I don't think you should deep clean and organize and declutter at the same time. I have done it in other videos where I do a little bit more of a deep cleaning, but I explain why. So normally I don't because it's a lot of work just to declutter and organize. Um, some of this you guys aren't even seeing because I do it off camera with the homeowner and all of that, but this probably takes the most amount of time is organizing and decluttering what they have. And cleaning is something that once you have decluttered, once you have organized, cleaning is going to be so much easier. But you will definitely overwhelm yourself if you take on a huge project that has needs a ton of organizing, a ton of cleaning, and a ton of decluttering if you try and tackle it all at once. Even if you want to get the whole thing done, split into days. Today I'm going to declutter, tomorrow I'm going to organize, the next day I'm going to deep clean or whatever you feel like you can get done in a day. 
But don't overwhelm yourself by saying, all right, I'm going to clean, declutter, organize this entire room in one day. Because if it's a big project, that's very difficult to do. And you're more likely to give up and get half the job done. Or if you say, okay, today I'm just going to declutter and organize, you're more likely to get a lot more done. And then you can go back and do your deep cleaning. If your smile what if the wind could spread your love what if your sweetness could reach everyone there be no wars All right, and here we had cabinet move number two. <laughs> I told you guys I moved this a couple of times. After we got through the closet and we were able to declutter stuff, and I did some measuring, I noticed that this was actually going to fit really nicely in there and still allow for her to have her coats and everything hanging. So I wanted to put it in there that way with gloves and mittens and little things. She could still have her art supplies in the family room since that's where she was doing all her little art stuff. But it was out of the way, keeping the room nice, bright, clean, and airy, and all of that. I absolutely love these cube storages for things like that. Because certain things, art supplies being one of them, if you're a drawer, it's kind of hard to have it looking good organized. So these cube storage, you put them in there, they're organized, but you don't need to worry about them looking perfect in the cubes. And same with these hats and mittens. So highly recommend these if you don't have them already to help you kind of organize your space. I know that you know I saw it. Your words like little night. And here you can see the garbage, the donations, a little bit of everything that we took out of this room and out of the closet. I absolutely loved this transformation. Now, it may not be as dramatic as some of my other hoarders videos. However, I feel like this is dramatically helping this couple out to be able to have this room that they can come in and really just relax in is really going to make a huge difference. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and share it with a friend. It really helps out my channel and I greatly appreciate every time you share my videos. If you are new here, I would love if you would subscribe and join me and my YouTube family. Also, if you've made it this far because you guys know I love knowing who made it to the end, leave me a sun emoji or the word sunshine down below. This is just a little sneak peek of next week's office. I know I showed it earlier, but definitely subscribe if you don't want to miss my next videos coming out. But I'll see you guys next time. Bye!